Hello and welcome to the last, <clears throat> or is it the last episode of Red Rogue? I just now realized that I've been playing the last several episodes without any music at all. Now, <clears throat> because of the game's supreme awesomeness of sound effects, I didn't notice it at all. Also because I've been playing the game with my own music on, and so I'd gotten used to it without music, but... It's, I'm sure it would have added a lot, and that's real unfortunate. So, if you so desire, I will play the game again for you with the music on, if it was really good. And, um, <clears throat> to make sure I have the ability to do that, you can see I've placed everything out here. Maybe you can't see, but there's Balrog's face looking at you. Uh And, of course, At is hacking away at his grinding stone. Because I want him to sharpen up his bones. I want his bones to be nice and strong. Before I um, put some flesh on them. Assuming I can do that with the amulet of Yendor. It'd be a real shame if I couldn't, too. I've got my best weapons here. Best armor over here. I'll equip... <clears throat> I, won't, I don't equip... I won't equip anything but except that I can wear. Um, so these fireflies... I'll just put on... At. You can have some fireflies at. And, uh, yeah. So I can't get rid of this stuff. Can't drop it. So I'm going to just give it to him. Yeah. Just let him have the sword. And the ability to throw the... No, I, I, I scratched it, actually. Oh, it'd be bad even if he threw a cursed leech. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm acting like this is, there's more to this game. And maybe there is, but if there is, I'm woefully unprepared because I just dropped all my best stuff out here. All my stuff, actually, except for this piece of armor right here. Which I was going to show you what is, but unfortunately not going to happen now. Because I uh, dropped my last identifying rune over here. In that rune stack there. So I'll just explain to you. As I go drop this thing off right over here, why not? Here. There's a perfect place. Just one little space. Just there. So you can't see it. Did I, I did have to explain you can't see it. And the reason is because it is a cloak of invisibility. Basically, it's out of this dimension. I read about it. It's out of this dimension. Um, that's why it has no name. It is completely outside of everything. And this thing here, of course, taking that thing out, it's the indifference cloak. Taking this, of course, the pro I think, unless I'm entirely wrong, which is very likely. I, I'm often entirely wrong. Anyway, this right here, this is the portal to the dungeon. I don't think I'm going to be going in there. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to take this portal out of here. Okay. The end. You cannot take items through the portal. Are you sure you want to leave right now? I had a feeling that I couldn't take items through the portal. I knew I couldn't. I had a feeling I couldn't. All right. But I think I've gotten rid of everything I can. Time to go. Epilogue. Like her husband before her, Red Rogue was given a new name on her return. Like her husband before her. Um, I I don't really know much about the Rogue lore. Um, post in the comments what that what that means. Hearing of her use of the rune of, of time, and her constant cheating of death. What? That's how she survived death, huh? Hmm. She did a good job of it, too. Did it multiple times. Multiple times, being lots of times when I went recording. And times where I was. Immortal. Red. Rogue. The Immortal. She returned to rule the kingdom she had once abandoned. She said in one of the dreams that she was a princess, and she gave it all up 
for Ant. It's really sweet. For 39 years, she ruled in peace. No one dared question or make war with one who traveled through time and wielded the power of Yendor. Which we never used. She took no prince and gave her people no heirs. Her quest for vengeance of her dead husband had brought no solace. So she did die, left no heirs. Offers of marriage were made to her, dying on their lips as they saw at advance following her rebuttal. Does that mean he killed them? Dying on their lips? No, no, just mean no. No, it just it just means that that the that, that they saw when they saw at that they were pretty much not going to make any progress of that. On her deathbed, her people were divided. Those doubting her title rioted. Those defending it becoming cruel vigilantes. It was not long before the kingdom was at war with its neighbors. Eventually, At returned to the underworld. When the immortal died, the rune of time took effect again as it had when she had died in the dungeon. Perhaps the world continued without her, or perhaps it was erased as she was pulled back through time. Hold on. Let me read that again. When the immortal died, the rune of time took effect once again as it had when she died in the dungeon. Meaning it revivificated her, brought her back to the overworld. Uh, just fully alive, right? Perhaps the world continued without her. Perhaps it was erased. So basically that is restating the question of whether to follow the theory of parallel universes. Basically, every t you know, the two time theories. When you go back in time, there are two theories on what happens. One theory is that uh, basically... Everything that was is erased because you reset time. You go back, and so everything that had been is uh, is automatically gone because you and you can't play out the same role you did before. It'd be impossible. So it's all erased and it starts anew. The other uh, theory is that it would continue on in its own parallel universe. So every time you go back in time to avoid destroying the time that you had come from and, and getting maybe possible grandfather paradoxes. Uh, which is basically where you go back in time and kill your grandfather before he had your father, so you shouldn't have existed at all, but and you shouldn't be able to do it. It's a paradox, but to get rid of that, yeah, I think the last that theory of going to parallel universes is holds the most truth. You can go back in time, but every time you abandon your current universe, so she lived on. But in a different universe, it would seem like. That's that's my interpretation. The immortal looked into eternity and descended. Rogue ascended. Welcome, immortal. Thank you. Dungeons of Chaos. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. That's what it means by bringing her back. She gets to keep on reliving this for the rest of... Not even time. Not even the rest of time. There is no necessary end. Ever, is there? Wow. Just, wow. Well, if you want to continue, if you want to, if you think maybe, uh, if we try again, if we defeat Balrog once more as the immortal, the epilogue will be different. 
perhaps granting her one final escape? Then post in the comments. Post in the comments that you want me to continue this series. I would love to, believe me. This is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. Everything about it is perfect. The thing about resetting time, losing all your stuff when you die, and the overworld being a, 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 a riff that keeps everything in it. A time bubble, as it were. It's all awesome. It's the best game I've... Hard to say it's the best game I've ever played, but it is one of them. Amazingly. One of the best games. I'm glad I could share this experience with you. It doesn't have to end, but this episode does. Thanks for watching it, and this entire series up to this point. Until we meet again in another game. Goodbye.